Saturday, April 16th. And I know we don't usually post on the weekends, but something weird happened. Um, Megan McCain posted a new article in the Daily Mail, which is a shit um, website. Um, and I don't usually <clears throat> read what she writes, but you know, I got some Twitter notification that she had tweeted and it was the article. And I agree with her. <laughs> um, I haven't changed. I know she's incapable of change. What happened? She wrote an article about um, sort of uh, the aging population of Congress. It was based on um, an article that ran in the um, San Francisco Chronicle, I think, um, about Dianne Feinstein, uh, which you know, quoted a few senators, both Republican and Democrat, um, and the current and former staffers of hers, basically talking about her cognitive decline, um, that, you know, she forgets who she's talking to when she's on the phone, um, you know, the people that she's met and in the middle of conversation with, she has to be introduced to several times during the same conversation. Um, and that there's, you know, part of the Democrat contingent is is trying to get her to resign to let Gavin Newsom um, appoint uh, someone for the last two years of her term rather than um, you know wait until 2024 and have uh, no in Democrat incumbent um, in that seat, which by the way makes sense. She should resign. If she can't do the job, she should leave. But the article was about, um, it started about the chokehold that old people have on, on Congress and lists, of course she lists, you know, Pelosi and um, you know the old Democrats. I don't know how she didn't mention Leahy from Vermont because he's like a fucking skeleton with skin. Um, but uh, and she does mention as a kid talking about Strom Thurmond who was a hundred years old. Um, but she even mentions in the article that it's time for us to think about um, term and age limits. I'm not so convinced about age limits, but I am convinced about term limits, which is a surprising take from the daughter of John McCain, who spent a literal lifetime in the Senate. I think he served for 31 years. It's a lot. Um, and I don't think anybody should be um, in, uh, <laughs> in the same position for 31 years, specifically not one um, that wields power. Um, you've got to do other things. Um, so, and I don't agree that uh, it, it's, you know, we should be putting age limits on anything because someone at um, at 80 could be uh, in more cognitive um, health than someone at 57 or 32. Um, so it's just not, I don't think that's a, a, a wise um, idea and it's kind of ageist, Megan. Um, but term limits are a good idea because we need to start cycling these people out. Um, and I believe that, you know, we should think about term limits for SCOTUS too. Um, it's become such a political process that maybe those shouldn't be lifetime appointments anymore. Um, you know, give people an 18 year term on SCOTUS. I think that's plenty of years. Um, two terms as a Senator, that gives you 12. It means you would serve under two different presidents. And then the same thing for the house. You can have, um, you know, what? It give people five terms in the house that gives them 10 years. The idea being that they should always be able to have an opportunity to serve under multiple presidents. And if you know somebody's elected for two terms, that's eight years in the presidency, they should at least have an option, um, have the ability to serve um, under more than one president. So, um, so there, Megan McCain and I agreed about something that um, the, um, the leaders in both parties uh, stick around too long in Congress um, and we should think about term limits. Um, so, you know, has anyone checked on hell? Cause I'm not sure it might have frozen over.